Parasaurolophus was a genus of herbivorous hadrosaurid ornithopod dinosaur that lived in what is now North America and possibly Asia during the late Cretaceous period, about 76.5 to 73 million years ago. It was a herbivore that walked both as a biped and as a quadruped. It was known for their range of bizarre head adornments which were likely used for communication and better hearing. This genus is known for its large, elaborate cranial crest, which at its largest forms a long curved tube projecting upwards and back from the skull. Caranosaurus from China, which may have been its closest relative, had a similar skull, and potentially a similar crest. Visual recognition of both species and sex, acoustic resonance, and thermoregulation have been proposed as functional explanations for the crest. It is one of the rarer hadrosaurids, known from only a handful of good specimens. Three species are universally recognized, Parasaurolophus walkeri, which is the type species Parasaurolophus tubison, and the short-crested Parasaurolophus seatocrostatus. Like most dinosaurs, the skeleton of Parasaurolophus is incompletely known. The length of the type specimen of Parasaurolophus walkeri is estimated at 9.5 meters, and its weight is estimated at 2.5 tons. Its skull is about 1.6 meters long, including the crest, whereas the type skull of Parasaurolophus tubison is over 2 meters long, indicating a larger animal. Its single known forelimb was relatively short for a hadrosaurid, with a short but wide shoulder blade. The thigh bone measures 103 cm long in Parasaurolophus walkeri and is robust for its length when compared to other hadrosaurids. The upper arm and pelvic bones were also heavily built. Like other hadrosaurids, it was able to walk on either two legs or four. It probably preferred to forage for food on four legs, but ran on two. The neural spines of the vertebrae were tall, as was common in Lamasaurines, tallest over the hips, they increased the height of the back. Skin impressions are known for Parasaurolophus walkeri, showing uniform tubercle-like scales but no larger structures. First Parasaurolophus fossils were found in 1920 near Sand Creek, along the Red Deer River in Alberta, Canada. It consisted of a skull and a partial skeleton, missing most of the tail and the hind legs below the knees. It became the holotype specimen of Parasaurolophus walkeri. In 1921 a partial skull was found in Kirtland Formation in New Mexico, United States. This skull was given a separate species of Parasaurolophus tubison. In 1995 another, nearly complete skull of Parasaurolophus tubison was found in New Mexico. Another species of Parasaurolophus was discovered in 1961, again in New Mexico. It included a partial skull with a short, rounded crest and much of the postcranial skeleton except for the feet, neck, and parts of the tail. The range of this species was expanded in 1979, when another partial skull was found in the Caparaits Formation in Utah, United States. As a hadrosaurid, Parasaurolophus was a large bipedal-slash-quadrupedal herbivore, eating plants with a sophisticated skull that permitted a grinding motion analogous to chewing. Its teeth were continually being replaced, they were packed into dental batteries containing hundreds of teeth, only a relative handful of which were in use at any time. It used its beak to crop plant material, which was held in the jaws by a cheek-like organ. Vegetation could have been taken from the ground up to a height of around 4 meters. As noted by Bob Baker, Lamasaurines have narrower beaks than Hadrosaurines, implying that Parasaurolophus and its relatives could feed more selectively than their broad-beaked, crestless counterparts. Parasaurolophus had a diet consisting of leaves, twigs and pine needles which would imply that it was a browser. Parasaurolophus is known from three certain species, Parasaurolophus walkeri, Parasaurolophus tubison, and Parasaurolophus seatocrostatus. Parasaurolophus walkeri is different from other two species, with it having a simpler internal structure, and being smaller than Parasaurolophus tubison, it also had a straighter crest and different internal structure than Parasaurolophus seatocrostatus. 
The next named species is Parasaurolophus tubison, which is the largest of the Parasaurolophus species. It possesses a long and straight crest, with a very complex interior compared to the other species. Parasaurolophus serprostatus is the smallest, and has the most curved crest. Because of its possession of the two above features, it has often been speculated that it was a female of Parasaurolophus walkeri or Parasaurolophus tubison, which were males, although Parasaurolophus tubison lived approximately a million years later. As noted by Thomas Williamson, the type material of Parasaurolophus status is about 72% the size of Parasaurolophus tubison, close to the size at which other Lamasaurines are interpreted to begin showing definitive sexual dimorphism in their crests. Even though many scientists have supported the possible fact of P. status being a female, many other studies have found that it is not, because of the differences in age, distribution, and the large differences in the crest and its internal structure. As for other Lamasaurines, it is believed that the cranial crest of Parasaurolophus changed with age and was a sexually dimorphic characteristic in adults. It was noted that in any case, juvenile Parasaurolophus probably had small, rounded crests like P. status, that probably grew faster as individuals approached sexual maturity. Recent re-study of a juvenile brain case previously assigned to Lambiosaurus, now assigned to Parasaurolophus, provides evidence that a small tubular crest was present in juveniles. This specimen preserves a small upward flaring of the frontal bones that was similar to but smaller than what is seen in adult specimens. This specimen also indicates that the growth of the crest in Parasaurolophus and the facial profile of juvenile individuals differed from the Carithosaurus hypacrosaurus lambiosaurus model, in part because the crest of Parasaurolophus lacks the thin bony coxcomb that makes up the upper portion of the crest of the other three Lamasaurines. The large surface area and vascularization of the crest also suggests a thermoregulatory function. The first to propose the cranial crests of Lamasaurines related to temperature regulation was Wheeler. He proposed that there was a nerve connection between the crest and the brain, so that the latter could be cooled by the former. Parasaurolophus is often hypothesized to have used its crest as a resonating chamber to produce low-frequency sounds to alert other members of a group or its species. Barnum Brown noted the presence of fine striations near the back of the crest that he hypothesized could be associated with the presence of a frill of skin, comparable to the one found in the modern basilisk lizard. His hypothesis was seemingly supported by skin preserved above the neck and back of Carithosaurus and Edmontosaurus. Subsequently, reconstructions of Parasaurolophus with a substantial frill of skin between the crest and neck appeared in influential paleoart including murals by Charles R. Knight, and in the Walt Disney animated film Fantasia. This led to the frill being depicted in many other sources, though the advent of the now debunked snorkel hypothesis, and conflation of the frill hypothesis with the idea that the crest serves as an anchor point for neck ligaments, along with lack of strong evidence for its presence, has seen it fall out of favor in most modern depictions.